always a busy time around here, but somehow I, re I managed to record this video. And it's not a tutorial, but I'm gonna share a little bit of how I go about doing my paintings. I like to begin my paintings with an HD stencil, only because I'm doing this professionally for my customers and this speeds up my process and it gives me better results. Um, on this fairing, it's really easy to just place the stencil because it's flat on top and I just spray it for a few minutes and it gives me the map out. So on this map out, I'm just gonna speed it up. You know, it's just gonna make my painting a lot faster. And another thing that I do to make my life easier is I go on the black areas and I spray that first. Uh, since I know those areas are full black, you know, it, it, I just uh, start getting a feel for the painting, you know, start getting into the mood you know by spraying those black areas and the reason why I go on those areas first is because I'm not committing myself uh, because there's only one layer you know it's just pure black and the areas where I need to do more layers I just leave it for later because on those things I, I gotta think more carefully what I'm gonna do by the way the paint that I use it's uh, Createx I mix it in such a way that I can use it on the on the automotive parts. That's uh, one of my favorite paints uh, because you know you can use it in uh, indoors. You know and you're not killing yourself with so many fumes. So yeah. So another thing that I'm doing is isolating the skull. The entire fairing is gonna be black. So now that I isolated it, I kind of like framed it up it's not finished all, all around it but you know it just gives me a, a better working scenario basically by by isolating it like that uh, so this super fast speed you see here is is my superpower that's how I paint nah <laughs> no so that's uh that's me building up some texture basically what I'm doing is uh, throwing some uh, it's called stippling technique basically you pull the trigger uh, with very low air pressure and, and just spits out paint They're like little little dots and that allows me to create some uh, grunge effect so that's where you see all the little dots on the forehead and all around the skull really so at this point uh, you know the skull is like still like really far from being from being over like I'm just in the beginning stages and at this point, you know, it, it's a lot of work it, because it's I'm building up the little details, and but I'm still keeping up with the theme of just going on the dark areas. I noticed that this that this painting has a lot of cracks, and I'm taking advantage of that. You know, I'm just following those cracks, and you know, you guys that are airbrush, you know how easy doing cracks is. And the more you shake, the better they look. So um, uh, I'm doing those cracks and little by little you know like i'm doing more work and and being able to bring those details uh, with the with the napkin i'm i'm using some uh, alcohol to remove some of the paint and i'm also sanding out some highlights with the sandpaper you create a really smooth removal of paint uh, in a large area there's a nostril bone that you know I go uh, full white by removing the paint and, and then I can just reduce the contrast by spraying some black over it you know and, and it makes it looks like it makes it look like it's inside the nose like deeper inside the nose another one of my favorite tools is this pencil eraser and with this eraser I'm scratching off some of that paint and this is a very aggressive eraser because on, on a motorcycle, it's not as easy to remove paint as it is on paper. By using this pencil, I create, sometimes it's subtle and sometimes it's more aggressive texture, but uh, I'll use it throughout the whole painting.
now I'm working more in the in the middle values I already did all the black all the full black around it and now I'm working on the areas that have shading so this shading is really subtle um, but you know it's like I'm spraying slowly when I do the shading and this is just a texture stencil just putting some uh, some dots you know just to add to the grunge effect So at this point, at this side of the skull is going to be a blue. So all I'm building is that base of textures underneath and and right values, uh, you know, the right shading, the right uh, foundation, really for the color that I'm going to add on top. Um, so it's not always possible to work to do the all all the painting and then just add color on top. But on this one, that was the case. It was it was such a simple color combination basically a glaze that's a glaze with a little bit of airbrushing on top that's basically you know if we want to call it you know this, this is you know this is an, an acrylic painting really acrylic painting on motorcycle almost ready for that next layer of color it's almost there it's just it's just about to come out okay so with this tack rag I'm just getting rid of the whole mess that I have all over the painting so you can see I use gloves too removing the Erase the residue and doing the last few touches on this side. As you can see, I'm heavily working on the left side of the skull. The reason for that is more of the detail is there. Oh, and we're finally here. I'm going straight through the middle with a blue color. 
and of course this blue it's custom mixed I matched it close to what the image looked like and I'm basically doing one even layer and now that I have this layer of blue I come back on top and pull back some more highlights but right here I'm just marking one special lonely star this star right here is important because this is gonna help me line up the stencil on top of it I created a mask a cutout stencil really from the picture of this image and this little lonely star is gonna help me line it up pretty soon with the erasers I'm bringing back some highlights right through that blue and that's helping with blending that blue together with the rest of the skull underneath if I just throw the blue color and leave it alone then it it doesn't look that good but those little bit of highlights make it look good and then to deepen it you know to make it even more 3d I go with black over the top and push back some of those shadows with the black color and of course this black is very reduced it's very transparent and it also dirties out some of that blue and I like that when you throw black over blue it almost looks kind of green but the dirty green and that's what I'm doing right there so I basically create more colors basically in the painting but my main interest is to add the, the 3d you know to add the the values to deepen the shadows and bring in the constant the the highlights back and on top of that I come back with the blue mostly on the darker areas so that way I'm intensifying the color that's giving it more vibrancy it's a push and pull going on doing highlights doing shadows that's what it is that's what it takes on every painting on this area I'm almost going full black but all of these details like a lot of details are almost getting hidden there but by the time I clear coat this all of that is gonna show up so now I have a perfectly straight line that I need to get rid of I use some sandpaper by the way to create a soft edge and this is the long awaited mask I was talking about earlier it's about to come up and it's almost there I think it's just about to come up okay there it is so remember the North Star I did there <laughs> there it is again so that's uh, that's how I lined up the rest of this stencil and I grabbed the picture cut out the stars and I'm just erasing I'm using the, the this cut out as a mask for erasing not for painting but for erasing so there you go you might want to use that and you get really nice erasing stencils that's an erasing HD stencil right there for you guys <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure a lot of people use that but this way I was able to cut out all those stars really quick and then I I went back with the airbrush and, and um, added some uh, shadows on those stars so they don't look so white and on this side it's really simple you know just adding red this is basically the same thing that I did on the other side you know by adding color on top of the skull and again I'm repeating the same formula you know adding adding red adding shadows adding highlights it's the same stuff really <laughs> it's it's simple when you're doing it really and it's fun it's a lot of fun doing these projects 
uh, you're gonna see that I have a lot of paintings on this motorcycle and I've already made a video for it so you guys have already seen it before but on this one I wanted to show the the process of doing at least one of the skulls Alright, so you have seen this whole video, it's time to get out of YouTube right now and go do some painting. I, I really hope my painting inspires you and it makes you feel like going and grab your airbrush and do some artwork. So I really appreciate you guys sticking around for this video and watching this entire thing. I really hope that I added a little bit of knowledge to yourself and that something that I said on this video, something that I show added value to your painting skills. Hopefully you learned something. Even if it's just one thing, I'll be happy to know in the comments if something I did helped you out. Take care guys. Thank you very much for sticking around with me.